everybody. Welcome back to Mass Kikes. You say hello? Hello. It's not Rockin' and I are back at White Rock Conservancy where we were at earlier this summer with It's not Rockin's big brother Demon. We are parked at the Riverhouse Campground parking area. We're hiking to the Starfield Campground where we are going to pitch our tent and have an evening. First time we've been back on trail in a while. About 100 yards from the van, it's not rocket says to me, why is this thing so heavy? <laughs> is it because we haven't had packs on in a while, buddy? We're out of shape. <laughs> but we are back after it. Let's do this, huh? We are on the Big Dipper Trail. Just hit a trail junction, came off of, uh, doggone it, now I can't think, it was Star something. Um, but we, at that junction, said we were 1.8 from Starfield Campground. Actually, we could have gone either way. This is a big loop. This Big Dipper Trail is a big loop. And it was either 1.8 to Starfield or 2.3 to Starfield. So we went the little bit shorter way because Snot Rocket's already feeling the, feeling it. It's been a long, long hot summer. It's actually pretty warm out today. It's about 92, 93 degrees. Uh, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Low 80s actually. So we got a little bit of a cold snap. But, but anyway, so we picked the shorter way. And then we'll go the long way in the morning when we're feeling better. But we're having fun either way. It's a nice trail. The joys of hiking with a medicated nine-year-old. Later in the day, the medication starts to wear off and we either get really tired or really grumpy or really it's kind of hit or miss. Tonight it was really tired. That's okay. Dad's got it covered. He's feeling better now and he's okay. All I gotta do is carry a bag for a little while, I can do that. All right, we made it Starfield Campground. Tents up, we got water. Uh, we have water close by so we can fill up again in the morning. Yeah, I got them, thanks buddy. Uh, left my trekking poles over where the water is and had to go back about point, point one, point two back to the water to get my trekking poles. First time I've ever done that, I don't recommend it tents up we're gonna leave the rain fly off tonight because it's a little sweltery plus it's pretty clear and we're hoping to be able to see some stars from starfield campground uh, we're about to have some supper we've got some gourmet stuff we might have to give you a show of we're never made it before we're, we're getting getting creative we figured we weren't going that far so we could carry some extra stuff anyway about back to the tent we're gonna get cooking and we'll talk to you later we're going to go ahead and call this a success.
Well, chicken ramen, although we didn't use the seasoning packets, but ramen noodles, these Campbell's uh, sauce skillets, sesame chicken, and obviously for a short trip, we brought a can, but a can of chunk chicken. Pretty darn good. What do you think, Shorty? Must be, except for half of it didn't end up in your mouth. <laughs> Got them cool little hammock hooks. Might have to actually bring hammocks next time. It's not very clear, right? I mean, it's sort of clear, but it was crystal clear last night, and the stars were incredible. Couldn't get a good shot though. My camera's just not good enough on this phone. It's a cool campground though. We'll be back. I love you, mommy. Right, but mommy's not. Mommy never watches our videos. Talk to the YouTube peoples. Hi. Tell them about your, Tell them about our trail. Say we've gone. We've gone 2.3 miles so far, and we have 1.1 miles to go. Back to where we parked. Yes. And uh, we're having a good day. It's been a good hike, huh? We went, we went the shorter way. way. And we went the shorter way last night and the longer way this morning. And Dad's got all the weight because he's got the whole tent and he's got all the food. We're Bye. trucking. Bye-bye. Bye. Sometimes this is how Gangly ends up. He's tough though. He's covered in scars, but chicks dig scars, right? Campground. We're almost home free. There's a lot more cars there today than there were last night. Are you drawing a map? Nice. I realize we're basically at the van though, right? <laughs>
All right. It's not rocking and I have made it back to Riverside Campground. 7.4 miles total for last night and this morning. It's been good. We had a good time. We definitely realized that we were out of shape. Uh, Snot rocket went down in gear weight instead of up. Uh, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. He has carried his, his pack all day today. We've taken a couple more breaks. We couldn't take a whole lot of breaks last night because we were fighting sunset, but we had plenty of time to take as many breaks as we needed today. And we had fun. We are now going to uh, drop our gear at the van, get our lunch, and then play in the river for a few minutes before we head home. The perfect lunch spot, huh? How's that chicken tortilla? Yummy. Good deal. I gotta be honest, this is probably one of my favorite places to visit. It's got good trails. Got a decent amount of trails. It's not terribly busy. It's not overpriced, uh, ridiculously overpriced anyway, like uh, Nebraska. And there's so much to do. You can ride mountain bikes, bring horses, um, canoe off the Raccoon River here. It's it's just awesome. Fishing if you wanted to. Daddy. It's definitely a good place to be. If you're anywhere near Omaha or Des Moines, I definitely recommend you check this joint out. I shouldn't say that, though, because then everybody will be here. As always, though, we wish you were here. <laughs>